I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about basic approaches to integration. In problem number 23, I'd like to evaluate the integral of x plus 2 over x squared plus 4 dx. All right, the way that I'm going to tackle this integral is I'm going to split this integral into two fractions because I can split this up over the x plus 2, so I'll have x over x squared plus 4 and I'll have 2 over x squared plus 4 and that should help me. So let me rewrite this thing as two integrals. I could write this as the integral of x over x squared plus 4 dx plus the integral of 2 over x squared plus 4 dx. All right, now let's look at these two integrals individually. This first guy, uh, I can use a u substitution, or I can just recognize this is very, very close to being a natural log antiderivative because the derivative of the bottom is almost the top. What's the difference? Well, it should be a 2x. So what I'll do is I'll put a 2 up here, put a 1 half right here, and now this is just ln of the bottom, 1 half times ln of absolute value of the bottom, and we're done with that one. Let's look at this one. This one is very close to being tan inverse of something. The 2 is there. I could easily move the 2 outside. And so let's rewrite this as 1 half integral of 2x over x squared plus 4 dx plus, we'll bring that 2 out, integral of 1 over x squared plus 4 dx. Okay, so um, What's the first antiderivative? I said that the derivative of the bottom was the top, and that's a perfect form for ln of what's on the bottom. So I get 1 half of ln absolute value of what's on the bottom, x squared plus 4. And then the antiderivative of 1 over x squared plus 4, well, if this was 1 over x squared plus 1, then that would just be tan inverse of x. But because we have that 4, that changes it slightly, and we get 2 plus 2 times that 4 gives me a 1 half tan inverse of x over 2 plus c. Uh, and if we really wanted to, we could um, put that 2 uh, inside, cancel the 1 half, and then just write the answer as 1 half ln of x squared plus 4 plus tan inverse of x over 2 plus c. And we're done. 